शुरू करते हैं सो रीडिंग सुत्ता थ्री पॉइंट वन टू और सुत्ता ने बात दायतना अनुपस्थना सुत्ता दाय मींस टू दायतन मींस टू डोर्स और टू विंडोज सो समटाइम्स इस आंसरेड है इसलिए टू कंटेम्पलेशन आल्सो Let's begin. Initial portion is the familiar one. Evang me sutan, ekang samayam bhagava, saavathiyam viharithu, kubba rame megaramath upasa. Asa jay. So this is not jaitvana, but the other monastery which was set up in saavathi by Visakha. Was also known as Megar Mata. Then, Khopan Samen Bhagwa Tabhi Posathe Pannara Se Punyaya Punya Maya Ratiya Vikku Sangha Paributto Abho Kasi Nisinno Hoti. So, at that time, the Blessed One Posathe Pannara Se on the was the third day on the 15th uh, being the full moon he was sitting in open air surrounded by the assembly of the kings atko bhagava tumhi bhutam tumhi bhutam bikku sangam anubhu loke twa bikku avante so there the lord seeing them tumhi bhutam is sitting quietly Silently. So, seeing the silent assembly, Bhikkhu Sangam Anuvi Loketva, and having seen them, seeing the whole, surveying the whole assembly, sitting silently, Bhikkhu Amante, see them, address them as follows. <coughs> so, what are those? I will read the initial portion, then we will start one by one. ये ते बिखवे कुसलाधमारी अनिक नियानिका संबोधनामिनो ते संबो बिखवे कुसलानं धमानं अरियानं नियानिपानं संबोधिगामिनं काउपनिसा सावनियाति। So he's telling them that oh because there are good, noble, liberating Dhammas which lead to insight, lead to perfect enlightenment. And he is asking, what is the use of listening to these good, noble Dhammas? Supposing there are people who ask you this question. Pikkave puchitaro asu te eva masu vachniya. Then they should be answered like this. Yavadev dvayatanam dhammanam yathabhutam jnanayati. Yes, <coughs> what are we doing over here for the right understanding of these two dhammas? I mean, these two facts, these two truths. Kincha dvayatanam vadeta. So they will ask you, which do you mean? Which two do you mean? And then he is replying one by one in a variety of ways. He gives the reply to the. So there are various things. So this is the very first one. So let us see what are the two insights. So he's giving a couple uh, couplets of insight, you know, two dyads as they call it. Two two things, two insights. He's giving groups of two insights which are which can lead to perfect enlightenment. So let us read them one by one. Idam dukham ayam dukha. समुद्रयोति आय में का अनुपस्थना अनुपस्थना I am this एका पान अनुपस्थना this is one insight what is it I am दुखम this is दुखा I am दुख समुद्रयो होति this is the origin of दुखा so so to get this clarity that this is दुखा and this is the origin of दुखा this is the first insight then what is the second this is the origin of Dukkha. What is the origin of Dukkha? You can tell me. Okay. Okay. 
he is telling to Vikus who are around meditators right. and all that. So he's not repeating, he's just joining. So four noble truths for you, but I am. I am Dukha Nirodha. I am Dukha Nirodha Kamini. Pati Pati Padati. Pati Padati. I am Dutiya. Dutiya Anupasana. I am Dutiya Anupasana. This is the second Anupasana, second contemplation or second insight. What is that? I am Dukha Nirodha. This is the destruction or cessation of Dukha. I am Dukha Nirodha Gamani Patipadati. This is the path leading to the cessation of suffering. So this is the second insight. So he says, these two insights, if you consider sufficiently deeply, they will lead to perfect enlightenment. Then of course he is saying further that. You can read it. Evam Sama Dvayata Dvaya 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 Dvaitana Anupasana ko bikhave bikhuno apamatrasa atapino atapino apamatrasa matlab without any uh, heedlessness pramads ke bagay atapino is with resolute ardently pahitasa we viharato one who dwells like that divineham pahalam halanam dvinam halanam do phalvi anya tarang phalam pati khan khandam kham pati kham kham these out of these two fruits one fruit can be expected what are these two fruits Dittheva Dhamme Anya. Dittheva Dhamme Anya comes in Sadi Patan also everywhere. Dittheva Dhamme Anya means seeing the truth. Yeah, directly seeing the truth. It means we come in completely enlightenment. Enlightened. That is perfect knowledge. Sati Va Upadesi 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 Anagamita, Anagamita. Upadhi says, I mean, that a little bit of so you become Anagami, at least that state will be reached. So this is what he is saying. Evam samma dvayatana pasano ko vikhave. So if any bhikkhus considers them properly, samma, rightly, he understands that properly, then bhikkhuno appamattasse atapino pahitatasse viharato. And he is heedful and resolute and he considers it so deeply, then these two fruits can be expected. Either he will become perfectly enlightened or he will become an another. Just by reflecting on these two insights deeply, resolutely, heedfully, without any pramad, without any uh, loss of mindfulness, being aware of them. Then either perfect knowledge or becoming a state of anagar. Perfect knowledge means becoming arahant. Idam vocha bhagva. This is the Lord Blessed One said. Idam vat vana sugato atha param. Eta Rocha Satta. Satta, the teacher. Edam Vatavana, after having said this, Subhato, having said this, Atta Param Eta Rocha Satta. The teacher further spoke this. So he started of summarizing. So you can now read. Hmm. 729. You become na Ajahanti. Atho Sukhasa Sambhavam Yataka Sambhasu Sukham Asa Asim Uparujjati 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 Tanka Tancha Sees Tancha 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 Makam Na Janati Dukha Dukhu Vasam 
दुख उपासन ये दुख हम नाप जानंति दो इस वुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस दुख अथो दुख से संभव एंड द ओरिजिन ऑफ दुख यथा च सर्वसो दुख हम अशेषम उपरज्यति एंड देन नो दैट हाउ कैन ऑल दुख हैज बी स्टॉप टोटली अशेषम विदाउट एनी रिमाइंडर कैन बी स्टॉप तंच मग्गम न जाना दे डोंट नो द पाथ दुख उपसम उपशम गानम दैट व्हिच लीड्स टू सेसेशन ऑफ दिस दुख सो दे डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द दुख एंड द ओरिजिन ऑफ दुख एंड हाउ इट इज टोटली स्टॉप एंड दे डोंट नो द वे and they don't know the way to cessation then what happens to them next is what happens to them is the next para upper cheto vimutti vina te atho panna na panya vimuttiya panaya panya vimuttiya ab ab ba te ant kiriyae te ve jati jaru paga jati jaru paga so kya ho raha hai चेति विमुक्त ही ना थे चेति विमुक्त मतलब चित्त की विमुक्ति अथोपन्न विमुक्ति है या पन्या की विमुक्ति देर आर टू वेज ऑफ लिबरेशन विच आर मैं इन दिस कोर्स वन इज थ्रू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ इंटेंस कंसंट्रेशन एंड झानाज एंड देन डायरेक्टिंग दैम टूवर्ड्स एंडिंग ऑफ डिफाइनमेंट्स द अदर इज पन्या विमुक्ति दैट यू कंसिडर द पन्या यू डेवलप पन्या टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दैट यू आर फ्री फ्रॉम द trap of uh, yeah, sakka the conceit of i so he says those who are don't know dukha and don't understand don't dono se heen ho heen aman heen means inke bagair rehte so they are bereft of the liberation of the chitta and the liberation through panya abhabhate ant kriya they will never be able to put an end to this sansara and teve jati जरु उपगा जाति जरूर जाति बर्थ बर्थ एंड एजिंग दे विल अगेन एंड अगेन गो थ्रू बर्थ एंड एजिंग चित्त और पन्ना जो है दो तरीके बताए गए विमुक्ति के एक इसमें आप कंसंट्रेशन ध्यान का मार्ग जो है थ्रू थ्रू द प्रेथड ऑफ कंसंट्रेशन एंड रिफाइनिंग द स्टेट ऑफ माइंड एंड देन यूजिंग दैट फॉर रिमूवल ऑफ इंप्योरिटीज दैट इज वन वे अदर इज थ्रू पन्ना थ्रू डेवलपिंग पन्ना पन्ना विमुक्ति उसे कहा जाता है दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज बीइंग डेवलप्ड थ्रू अगेन मेडिटेशन इन सच अ डीप वे दैट ही कैन सी थ्रू द इल्यूजन एंड गेट फ्री फ्रॉम सेल्फ फ्री लेकिन ध्यान करने से पन्ना नहीं आएगी क्या अभी तो दोनों उस तरह गया अगर आप एफर्ट करेंगे तब आएगी ना पन्ना पन्ना अपने आप नहीं आएगी ये बच्चे की वाला जो है ना जैसे हम ध्यान करते हैं ध्यान मतलब क्या ध्यान तो कंसंट्रेशन बढ़ाते पहला ध्यान दूसरा ध्यान तीसरा ध्यान चार वो बोला ध्यान इसको ध्यान बोला जाता है ना हाँ तो वो डिफरेंट है क्या मतलब डिफरेंट मतलब मतलब पहले जैसे हम ध्यान तो मैं जैसे ध्यान करते हैं हम तो उतने गहराई से करते नहीं है ना ध्यान गहराई से करने का मतलब जैसे बताया जाता है ना चार ध्यान होते हैं उसमें इतनी गहराई से ध्यान किया जाता है पहले तक का विचार छोड़ा जाता है फिर वो छोड़ दी कंसंट्रेशन बढ़ाई जाती है ताकि मन टोटली एब्जॉर्ब हो जाए ये चार ध्यानों की बात है उन ध्यानों के माध्यम से भी आदमी अपने साधक जो है अपने चित्त की विशुद्धियाँ वो विशुद्धि बहुत जो इम्प्योरिटीज हैं उनको हटाने के मार्ग से और उस मार्ग से बढ़ते बढ़ते भी इम्प्योरिटीज इतनी हटा सकता है कि वो विमुक्त हो सकता है तो इम्प्योरिटी हटेगी फिर पहले जगती जाएगी ऐसे वो डिफरेंट है मतलब हाँ दूसरा मार्ग है कि जिसमें उस मार्ग को नहीं अडॉप्ट किया गया कि मैं अपनी कंसंट्रेशन बढ़ाऊंगा और फिर उसको चित्त की शुद्धि करूंगा बल्कि कंसंट्रेशन उतनी बढ़ाएंगे जिससे कि मैं पेनिट्रेट कर सकूं समझ इतनी बढ़ा सकूं कि मैं समझ के कारण संसार से विरक्त हो जाऊं विमुक्त हो जाऊं समझ के कारण राजेंद्र जी How to know that one has reached, and the, this is the second question. How to know that one has reached the first stage of dhyan and thereafter? Ah, so that so that my description, the whole detail is available. When he studies sati patthana and others, all those descriptions are given. Vita ka vichara namu kushava jam vita ka vichar dono rehenge pehle dhyan mein, lekin chitta concentrate rehega. Dusre mein vita ka vichar chhut jayenge. Tisre mein fir 
फिर प्रीति होगी प्रीति भी छूट जाएगी चौथे में ट्रैंकुलिटी भी छूट जाएगी और सिर्फ एकाग्रता होगी तो इस तरह से उन्होंने स्टेजेस बनाए गए सो सती पठान में उन्होंने पढ़े थे सो दो स्टेज आर वेल काइंड ऑफ वेल डिस्क्राइब दो स्टेजेस ऑफ इंटेंस ध्यान है तो जो राजेंद्र जी कहूँगा जो अजान ब्रह्म है वो उसमें एक्सपर्ट है अगर आप चाहें तो रजीज इन देर इन इन बर्थ तो वो अजान ब्रह्म से मिलते रहते हैं गए हैं उनके प्रोविजन सुनने सो अजान ब्रह्म डज कंडक्ट सच रिट्रीट्स वेरी एम्फेसाइज ध्यान आज वेरी मच अजान सुवेदो ऑन दी अदर हैंड एम्फेसाइज पन्या दैट इज द डिफरेंस एम्फेसाइज पन्या इतनी डेवलप करो Understanding it in develop करो through reflection, through meditation, through understanding that you see the things are not what they seem to be. You become absolutely clear. लेकिन दोनों साथ साथ में जब भी चित्त और ये जो है क्योंकि जब हम ज्ञान करते हैं तो ये दर पे दर का भी पता चलता है लेकिन साथ में पन्ना को भी तो develop करते हैं कर सकते हैं अगर हम उसको उस तरह से जो normally क्या होता है आपको आप लोगों को शायद याद होगा नयन अजान नयन धर्मों ने ये पॉइंट आउट किया था है तो सुन रहा था ना तो आई कुड इमीडिएटली रिलेट दैट इज एग्जैक्टली सेइंग व्हाट वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग एंड अंडरस्टूड दैट व्हेन यू प्रैक्टिस मेडिटेशन और सिर्फ संवेदना मिली आगे बढ़ गए संवेदना मिली आगे बढ़ गए तो आप रिफ्लेक्शन कर ही नहीं रहे यू आर नॉट डूइंग धम्म विच है उन्होंने यूज किया था ये वर्ड यू आर नॉट यूजिंग धम्म विच है अंडर यू डू धम्म विच है पंजा नहीं डेवलप हो Exactly what if you re-listen re- that. One day, I was just sitting here. I was listening. You would send me, and I would listen again and again. So I remember it very vividly. He made this comment. So Panya does not develop automatically. It has to be you have to work for it. Right? One has to reflect deeply and then verify it. And then put it into practice. But when you reflect deeply, you are reflecting that our work is done, or this is done. I mean, you are internally feeling that you are working hard. No, that is not the point. The point is that the illusion is being removed. I am sitting here and I am attached to my five senses. Is it removed or not? That is the point. The point is that 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 लेकिन उसमें फिर मन में इधर उधर विचार नहीं आएगा ना एकदम बिल्कुल परफेक्ट कंसेंट्रेशन होगी हम ये समझते हैं कि अगर हमको प्रशब्दी का अनुभव हो गया तो तीसरा ध्यान आ गया ऐसा नहीं शब्दी का अनुभव तो क्षणिक भी हो सकता है वो आया अनुभव भी हुआ और मन बिल्कुल समाहित हो गया उस तब तो वो उसमें ऐसी डिस्क्रिप्शन दिया गया सती पठान में और भी सही सही सूत्रों में कि चार ध्यान का क्या है जिसके आगे भी आठ ध्यान है वो चार ही काफी रहते हैं पर उसी में क्यों होगा तो जिसे हम ध्यान करते हैं कि हमारे दिमाग में आएगा कि अब यहाँ में आप पहुँचे हमें जरूरत क्या करते चलो हाँ कौन कह रहा है पहुँचने की मतलब तो हमें जाने की जरूरत है कोई अब पता चल गया हाँ वो ये अगर हम तो अगर हम जागृत हैं तो अपने आप पता चल जाएगा अगर जागृत नहीं है तो ऐसे चलता रहेगा ना मैकेनिकली करते रहते हैं होश ही नहीं रहता क्या हो रहा है ये बात मुख्य बात ये ये बात नहीं है कि हमको इसकी तरफ ध्यान लगाना है कि क्या हो रहा है ये मुख्य बात ये कि हमको अपने आप पता चल जाएगा पता चलना चाहिए ना अगर किसी को पता ही नहीं चल रहा तो सो रहा है ये भी भ्रम हो जाता है ना ध्यान करते करते वो हम जैसे अभी वो पढ़ेंगे ना अभी धम्मा उसमें बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट आता है कि ध्यान करते करते हमारी अटेंशन बिल्कुल खत्म हो जाता है एंड गो बैक टू दी बैकग्राउंड कॉन्शियसनेस भवंग चित्ता मन शांत हो जाता है तो बता हाँ बड़ा अच्छे ध्यान होता है तो ये नहीं पता चला कि हम तो Gone out of the mind. <laughs> What to do at that time? Do means get up. Be aware. Be aware of that. Verify. Check. जो धम्म विचार है ना चेक करो भाई सच मुच में मेरा गहराई से ध्यान हो रहा है कि मैं सो रहा हूँ. जो sense of table काम में आया था. हाँ. ध्यान करते करते मुझे खुद अनुभव आ गया भाई काम हो जाता है इससे तो फिर उठते हैं तो फिर क्या रूम को 
क्या हुआ मैं उठ रहा हूँ सो के उठ रहा हूँ कि सचमुच में चित्र काम हो गया एक्चुअली आदमी सो जाता है भवंग चित्र में चला जाता है भवंग चित्र से शांत हो जाता है जैसे गहरी स्लीप जो होती है अब क्योंकि सामान्य तरह वो गहरी स्लीप का अनुभव नहीं होता वहां होने लगता तो लगता वो मन बहुत शांत हो गया कितना अच्छा हो गया सो दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ फाइन पॉइंट कम आउट क्या जागृत रहना चाहिए यू शुड गेट मोर माइंडफुल यू शुड इंक्रीज अवर माइंडफुलनेस तो ये सब चीजें भूल जाते हैं ना समझ नहीं आते हमको रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन इट दैट इज द बिगेस्ट इश्यू दैट वी डोंट रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन वट एवर एक्सपीरियंस इज हैपनिंग वी डोंट इन्वेस्टिगेट द नेचर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो जब तक हम उसको इन्वेस्टिगेट नहीं करेंगे हमें पता ही नहीं चलेगा क्या हो रहा है करे जा रहे हैं मशीन की तरह करे जा रहे हैं हम कर रहे हैं हम इन्वेस्टिगेट भी कर रहे हैं फिर वो चल रहा है प्रोसेस जो भी आपका आगे बढ़ता है अपने आप चलेगा पता चल जाएगा फिर आगे बढ़ते जाओगे इन्वेस्टिगेट चल जाएगा अगर हमको ध्यानों का मार्ग अडॉप्ट करना है पहला ध्यान दूसरा ध्यान तीसरा ध्यान तो धीरे 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 मालूम पड़ता जाएगा क्योंकि <coughs> ध्यान का मतलब होता है कि मन बिल्कुल समाहित हो गया उस आलम्बन में बिल्कुल इधर उधर नहीं निकलेगा तब ध्यान होगा नॉट नॉट कि पहला ध्यान हो गया दूसरा ध्यान हम क्यों इस पर देखने की जरूरत नहीं है मालूम पड़ेगा ना आप सड़क पर चल रहे हैं तो आपको माइलस्टोन दिख रहा है तो आपको कोई जरूरत थोड़ी ना देखने की दिख रहा है ना मना थोड़ा ना करेगा कोई देखने से मतलब कुछ कंफ्यूजन नहीं होगा कन्या की जरूरत है ना इसलिए अगर हम इस तरह भी इतना भी हमें समझ नहीं है कि हम माइलस्टोन देखने से घबरा रहे हैं कि अरे हमने देख लिया तो कुछ हो जाएगा फिर तो बड़ी मुश्किल है हमारी साधना नहीं आपको नहीं लगता मुझे जरूरत ये है कि हम भ्रम में रहते हैं भ्रम में रहते हैं भ्रम में रहते हैं जरा सा भी अनुभव हो गया भ्रम हो जाएगा हाँ मैं तो बहुत अच्छा आगे बढ़ गया पहला ध्यान जानने की पहला ध्यान क्रॉस करने मान लो तो उससे क्या मिलेगा हमको क्या हमारे को तो ये हम तो मिलेगा कुछ नहीं शांत होगा चित्त अगर चित्त सचुत में शांत होगा तो क्या मालूम पड़ जाएगा ठीक है ना चित्त समाहित हो गया फिर ऐसी स्थिति आई कि प्रीति का अनुभव हुआ बहुत गहरा वो भी शांत हो गई प्रीति शांत हुई फिर शब्दी का अनुभव हुआ तो हमको मालूम पड़ जाएगा ना हो रहा है हम कहें तो मालूम ही नहीं पड़ रहा और हम अज्यूम करते जा रहे हैं तो इसलिए भगवान ने बताया ना कि ऐसा ऐसा हो तो मालूम चल रही है कि हाँ ठीक रास्ते जा रहे हो नहीं तो किसी और रास्ते चले जाओगे तो इसलिए जब भी किसी रास्ते पे जाते हैं तो देखते रहते हैं ना कि ये रास्ता वही जा रहा है कि नहीं जीपीएस लगाया जाता है ना जीपीएस की बहुत जरूरत है नहीं तो कहीं और पहुंच जाएंगे तो भगवान की टीचिंग जो है वो जीपीएस है एक्चुअली Just to tell us that you are on the right way. Sir, so, Sir, so, I have a question that Vitaka is same as object of meditation, such as breath, or the thought of breath causes, or the, or the thought of the breath causes awareness of breath. So, there is some kind of uh, ambiguity about this. Vitaka normal. तर्क विचार का नॉर्मल मीनिंग तो वो ही होता है कि मन जो है विचरण कर रहा है उस ऑब्जेक्ट की तो फ्रॉम मेडिटेशन परस्पेक्टिव तो यही होना चाहिए दैट द माइंड इज गोइंग बैक एंड कमिंग टू द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन दैट वुड बी तर्क एंड विचारा वुड बी देन इट इज गेटिंग कम्प्लीटली एब जॉब इन दैट ऑब्जेक्ट गोइंग अवे एंड कमिंग बैक इज नॉट देयर माइंड जो है उसी ऑब्जेक्ट में जैसे ब्रेथ है ब्रेथ में ही लंबे समय तक रहता है तभी कहते हैं जब लंबे समय तक रह रहा है तो विचार विचरण कर रहा है उसी ऑब्जेक्ट में एंड देन वी आर से वी आर वितर्क एज साइलेंस्ड विचार इज देयर सो दैट इज द मूवमेंट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू सेकंड अकॉर्डिंग टू अभिधम अभिधम इसलिए पांच ध्यान बताए गए ताकि लोग कंफ्यूज ना कि वितर्क चल रहा है विचार सारे चल रहे हैं तो पहला वितर्क छूट गया तो दूसरा विचार छूट गया तो तीसरा क्वेश्चन इज दैट से आई फील आई एम डूइंग Uh, with full concentration, but after my meditation, my behavior has still not improved. 
then does that mean that I am still no, not top? Uh, I am not still not up to the mark even in the first jhana. Jhanas are basically from the concentration point of view. If the behavior is not improving, it means it is not translating into panya. Actually, panya is the thing which will really bring about a uh, deep transformation. The transformation brought by jhana is a kind of uh, force being applied. Mm -hmm. You are applied force to the mind that you should not go here and there. And uh, therefore, there is some element of uh, suppression involved in jhana. You know, when you you are not trying to see the totality of the picture. So, the real transformation will take place through Panya. That's why uh, yeah, we are Goenkaji also does not talk about jhanas too much. Because for pra practicing of jhanas, you need a very secluded and a very appropriate environment so that mind does not get disturbed and, and he gets absorbed in the object deeply. So, in retreats, one can practice it under care. But for our uh, transformation in our behavior, the jhanas will help to the extent that uh, they will prevent, uh, I mean, if they are strongly developed, the mind will know and say gusara and stop it. But uh, being able to see it and letting it go usually does not happen unless panya arises. So the real transformation takes place with panya. Panya si pata chale ga na ki bhi hum jaise ki ab jhan ka ye hai matlab abhi tak chhut gaya ki cha chhut gaya to panya is more important than jhan. Yeah. From the point of view of logon ka alag alag vichar hai kai log kehte hain ki jhan jab tak gehrai se nahi hoga jaisa jhan brahm ka ye vichar hai ki jab tak aap gehrai se pehla dusra teesra jhan nahi karenge aapki panya theek se develop nahi hogi ayan se mere ka vichar alag hai wo kehte hain ki aap panya theek se nahi develop karoge to jhan bhi nahi rakhenge wo zabardasti ho jayegi it will be a compulsion force it for applying force on it डेवलप <coughs> So Sudhakar is saying that uh, what is the motivation slash significance of asking us by Goenkaji to focus us on breath alone during Anapana time until the last few hours of the last day of uh, 10 day or uh, 10 day or longer courses mm -hmm. because he wants and ignore sensation. In long courses he wants us to experience jhana in long courses, is expected. That's why for 10 days, mm -hmm. uh, focusing on breath is to improve the But in 16 day course, after 10 days, he asks us to see the body also for remaining 10 days. Sabbakaya Patisam Vedi Asasasami Sikhati, which is there in Sati Pathana, he actually asks us to do that. So the attention is spent. We are not allowed to focus more than 10 days because then there can be difficulties. See, the practice of concentration beyond a certain level should be done under great care and great problems. So it should be done under a good teacher who is expert in that, can direct how to do jhanas properly. Otherwise, there can be difficulties. Mind can get into spin. Even by deep concentration. When you do Anapana for 20 days, you know what it means and if you continue then you will be in the, you can get into, get screwed up. So therefore after 10 days, Sabbakaya but so you take the breath and you feel the whole body. You take the breath and you feel the whole breath and you feel the whole body. So now you can do it. Those people who are mature and uh, serious meditators, you don't have to do anything, just sit. 
So you can see what's happening. The whole body you feel, you also feel the breath going in, coming out, and you get sound, you hear it, why not? You can't quite run away. Whatever happens, just be aware. So follow the Sati Bhattana, rather than getting trapped in a particular uh, methodology. So Sudhakar has this follow-up uh, question. Uh, take the breath and feel the whole body or just feel the breath only in the whole body? No. Feel the whole body. What Goenka Ji interprets it is, Sabbagaya Pati Samvedi interprets it as feeling the Samvedana in whole of the body. Though in Anapan Sati Sutta, the Lord has said uh, that uh, when I say body, I mean the body of the breath. So some people interpret it like feeling the whole of the breath, which means the breath going in, you feel the whole length duration of the breath, the breath coming out, you feel the whole duration of the breath. This is what I had mentioned in that Satipatha discussion also. So you can do both. Both are helpful. Feeling the whole duration of the breath is certainly very healthy. In the second part you mentioned, or just feel the breath only in the whole body. He says when the breath is going in, then the whole body sensations change. And to be able to perceive, then the mind should be reasonably concentrated. So one can feel that. that basically, why inhaling or exhaling? Whatever just be sensation. aware of the whole body. Whole body whatever is happening, whatever is happening. Yeah. Yeah. And actually what happens is that you are even uh, without, uh, I mean, Sudhakar is such a senior meditator. If you just sit and first do feel the whole body, Okay, just feel the whole body and then shift your attention to the breath. And you can see breath is going in, the sensation in the body are changing, the breath is coming out, sensation in the body are changing, you can actually feel it. But mind should be at peace, then, then you can feel it. Peace. So you are doing exactly as per the Buddha's instructions, Sabbakaya, Pati Samvedi, Asasya Sami, you are not, not putting any effort at all, just being aware of whatever is happening. You just direct your attention to the breathing process also. Yeah. So, so I think yes. breathing acts as an anchor and you are just allowing the uh, experience of whole body to be in the presence. Yes. <laughs> one, can, one can take a default object of attention, yes. either breathing or body sensations, whichever you like. Okay. But one should be kept as a default object. So that if the mind goes here and spinning, mm -hmm. so usko apne default object pe le hai. Breath pe le hai, ya body sensation pe le hai, pe bhi. Otherwise, the you know, tendency of mind to get start thinking and all that is very yeah. So the next question from Slash is related. That where does the sound of silence fit in here? It doesn't fit in according to Buddha's teachings anywhere. Doesn't fit in, but as an anchor it can it is very powerful. As an anchor, it is because it's available around the clock. <laughs> and uh, once you have trained and once you have got that idea, you, you can be talking and being aware. And I can be aware and talk to you. That's it. No problem. So it helps a great in our day to day life. Breathing in and breathing out. But it's not necessarily always we are aware of the sensation. Okay. Sensation. Aware, sensation may be there, but we are not aware. That's okay. When you practice for long time, then, then you can be aware of the body also, you can be aware of the breath, you can be aware that breath is going in and it is causing a change in sensation, and breath is coming out, it is causing a change in sensation. But it is not causing, it means I am not aware of the change in sensation. You are already aware, no? by practice you can be aware. It's very and it, is it uh, every time you will be, means constantly. Aware, every time it is changing? Yeah, constantly, every time, every moment. But just yeah, be aware. Okay. Let's try it out and see. Let's try it out and sit for two minutes. You can first be aware of the whole body.
when the, when the mind is settled down, as the breath goes in, you can feel there's something, is, I mean, I, the way I feel is like there's something is happening, flow is taking place like this. And then when breath is coming out, it's as if you're turning back and going like that. So you can actually feel that with the breathing process, sensations are constantly changing because of the fact that hopefully it's not one-to-one -one relationship always, but most prominent cause is the breath going in and causing changes. So you can be aware of both the breath as well as the body simultaneously, very comfortably without doing anything. This is what I had written in that manual also. If you see the manual, it's written there. The sensation is not at gross level, it's just going, something is going. So you are feeling something, but it's not while taking out, it isn't. Sometimes, yeah, it is, you know, sometimes the in breath is strong and it is easy, easily visible, sometimes out breath is visible, so it's okay, it doesn't matter. That happens, you know. For me, for example, in breath may be, sometimes in breath will be very easily felt, out breath will be I need I need I does it matter? So, when it's out, it's not It keeps on happening automatically, depending on so many factors. So there are so many things which are influencing the whole thing. So, I think this is a book which, uh, yeah, they can see. So this is the uh, uh, Sati Pathana. Uh, uh, so we have discussed here yeah. and in IIT, and we have compiled it in the form of a book also. Mm -hmm. Small book, you can yeah. see, that. and it's available online also. Yeah, it's available on Amazon and Flipkart. Yeah. So Rajendra ji uh, has a question. Uh, Ajahn Brahm said in his discourse that watching full breath meant observing thousand places along the breath. Couldn't understand that. Yeah, when you practice like this, you know, and you first uh, calm down the mind and then feel the whole body, and then when you shift attention to the breathing process, you can feel that as the breath is going in, there is whole body, the sensations are changing, as if something is going in, you can feel as if something is entering. Then it stops and then it comes, breath comes out and then the whole thing as if something is coming out. So the sensations in the body change in exactly the same way. So it looks as if the whole body is breathing. That's the kind of uh, uh, you know, perception it forms. What is basically happening is the breath is causing change in the body sensations. That is what is quite obvious. So when the mind is calm and the concentration level is reasonable, one can easily feel that. So Sudhakar is saying that, uh, uh, allow me to ask this theoretical question, a feeling of breath, touch of breath is an a sensation of the spot. All three are different. That is easy to understand below the nostril, above the upper lip. Is it also true at cellular level? To realize this beyond my comprehension, to uh, ask, I have no apprehension. I couldn't understand the yeah. question, Can so you think a feeling of breath, yes. uh, comma touch of breath, mm -hmm. or, or a sensation of, of the spot? All three are different. Yeah. This is easy to understand below the nostril and above the upper lip. Is it also true at the cellular level? See, the what we say feel the breath. What actually are we feeling? We are feeling the sensation caused by breath entering the nostrils. It's actually the same thing. It is actually breath is going through, I mean if you see it scientifically, breath is entering the nostril and as a result inside the nostril, at the nostril grate or inside the nose, 
we are getting a feeling of a sensation. Body can feel sensations, and that feeling we are interpreting as breath going in. That feeling of so actually we are feeling the sensations even during anapana, but those are focused on a small area. So the when you focus it on that sense, then it becomes a concentration exercise. So because that's why you say you don't bother about any chat, don't bother about this, just focus so that you want to raise the concentration. So this is the Burmese uh, Burmese tradition has adopted this method of raising the concentration. But I don't know what is meant by is it also true at the cellular level? I don't know. I don't understand that. What does it mean? Because this is what is ex we are experiencing. So, so Hakar, you want to uh, clarify what do you mean by at the cellular level? Whatever we are experiencing has its corresponding uh, base. No? So it will be different naturally. Corresponding base because the uh, brain is actually sensing it. Brain is actually sensing it, but the uh, body cells here yeah. are getting the sensations S which are being sensed by the brain. The nervous central nervous nervous system is sensing the signals from various points. When you sense signals from here, you get something else. When you sense signals from here, you get something else. Similarly, just as you scan the body, same thing is happening. You are shifting attention from point to point. So the that particular point becomes prominent in sending the signal and we are able to feel that. You are saying that can't we feel breath away from our skin, say a few millimeters? Well, in some sense it is possible if you have the, if we develop strong concentration, you know sometimes I, as a game we used to do that if you keep your hands like this and you are able to feel sensations here, you are able to feel sensations here. If you keep it near nearby, you can begin to feel sensations within the air in the between the two hands. But it is uh, not possible to sustain it for long periods of time. Because the concentration is not so strong. So if the concentration is extremely strong, I think it should be possible. But we don't gain anything in that process. Now it can be a good experiment, but uh, from the point of view of Panya, it's not... Book or link? Link to my name is Anapusha. एक तो स्मैश वर्ड्स पे ही है हाँ स्मैश वर्ड्स पे तो वो है ईबुक है इफ यू गो टू अमेज़न यू विल गेट द लिंक टिप पोथी पे भी लिंक दिखा रहा है हाँ पोथी पे भी आ रहा होगा ना वो ही तो पब्लिशर्स हैं ना एक्चुअली पब्लिशर्स आर दैट पोथी डॉट कॉम यू कैन गेट इट इफ यू गो अमेज़न डॉट इन यू � Okay. Yeah, I just post these two links. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Sudhakar, this is the same uh, PDF which uh, uh, Dasar had sent earlier. Yeah. Uh, uh, which is explanation uh, explanation for uh, Satyabhan Sutta. Yeah. 